So here we have the Kia Sportage on a 62 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer in the middle. And on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge and cool and temperature gauges. Uh, also in the middle there, you'll see it will show you what gear this car is in at the bottom. Uh, it's an automatic, we're in park at the moment. We have a trip computer above that. You can change the information that's displayed there by using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. And above that, the total miles of the car, which are 54,590. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side we have stereo controls, we have cruise control over on the right hand side, phone controls are down the bottom just here. You won't be able to use those until you pair the phone up with the car, which is done over on the touchscreen in the centre just here. Uh, so lots of options on there, one of which is the phone, you push that and follow the instructions on screen. You probably noticed uh, this car's got satellite navigation, a nice clear colour display, very very easy system to use. Uh, when it comes to music in this car, we've of course got the radio. You can see there we have FM radio and AM as well. If you listen to your own music, you press the media button. Nothing is connected or inserted, but we've got a CD player, as you can see. This car's also got auxiliary uh, and USB input as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. And if I pop the vehicle into reverse, you'll also see the full color reversing camera to go along with the parking sensors as well. Working our way down, We've got dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, you can increase and decrease the fan speed, you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in, and when you're happy with those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on, and it's on when that green light shows. Or, push this one in to put it onto auto, the car will now take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. If you make a manual adjustment, you'll see auto's now gone off, you can put it back on your own settings here as well. Beneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket. We've got the auxiliary and USB inputs. The buttons turn off the parking sensors in the car. We have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We have a heated driver's seat with two different heat settings and the same over here for the passenger side as well. The last thing I wanted to mention are the two sunroofs you can see just here. The rear one is a fixed sunroof. The front one you can tilt and slide open as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.